there is a total now of over 69,000 cases across the state that we've been tabulating since the coronavirus pandemic began here in our state back in March. There were 390 new cases in just the past 24 hours. The death toll from the virus is now at more than 6,000, but there was only one additional death in just the past day. Governor Whitmer's executive order, though, about face coverings is now in effect, and that order requires Michigan residents to wear a face covering in any indoor public space. And it also requires the use of face coverings in crowded outdoor spaces where you cannot maintain proper social distance. Businesses are expected to deny service or entry to those who refuse to comply, and those cited for not wearing a face mask can face a misdemeanor and a $500 fine. New at noon, though, the Washtenaw County Public Health Department is reporting a surge in COVID-19 cases linked to a holiday party in the Saline area. The health department says that that party happened back on July 2nd and 3rd at a location around Saline. New virus cases have been reported among people between the ages of 15 and 25. 43 cases have been identified, along with 66 exposed closed contacts, not including immediate family members. So anybody who was at that party asked to be self quarantined for about 14 days and to monitor themselves for virus symptoms. In the meantime, there was a record number of COVID-19 cases down in Florida over the weekend. Texas is also seeing a spike in new cases and considering another shutdown. Carrie Sanders is in Miami Gardens, Florida this afternoon as the Sunshine State is now the center, the epicenter of the pandemic. Sunbelt hotspots are spiking. Florida setting a national record, reporting more than 15,000 new cases of COVID-19 in a single day. At its worst, New York reported slightly more than 11,500 in a single day.